This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 6, User Input and Strings, Part 7, Saving Text Input in Variables. This code I have right here. If you don't have that, you need to go back a lesson. Not a lesson, a section. Watch my video if you're stuck on that, all right? But you do need to have it. So, uh, often we want to save information we pull in from the user for later use in our program. The best way we can do this is to save it in a variable. True. I bet we're going to make one with uh, get text. Do this. Create two variables inside your event handler. This is our event handler. Uh, for age and name, use get text to update the value stored in each of these variables. Change your console log statements to use the variables instead of get text. Ah, and they're kind of giving it away here. So what we're going to do is variable... And I'm going to steal their ideas for variable names. I'm going to grab my get text from that. And put in, what did they say? User name for their variable with one U. And then I'm going to go ahead and do UI controls. Get text. And this is going to be user age. Age input is my ID for the age, right? Age input. So that, and then age. Oh, they use user, if that makes sense. Age. And then we want to console log our variables. So I'm going to console log username. And then I'm going to grab variable, console log. I don't need quotes because it's a variable, not a string. User age. Okay, pretty much like theirs. Let's test it. But ah, uh, and it works. Awesome. Let's keep going. 